are they? That's good. That's good. Great, now there's fucking four of you. And I got two of them right off the bat, nice. Solid, solid, solid. That was solid. HP up, tears up, shot up. Oh, shot speed down. Oh, no. Well, I got HP up and shot up and then speed down early. That seems like a deal. I can increase my speed or my damage output. That's nifty. And there's TNT right there. Holy shit, there's TNT. Oh, okay. There's TNT all over the place. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, thank you. You know what? I'll wait. Just blow these up just in case they lead to something. Besides blowing up things. Touch fuzzy, get dizzy. What? Tears up. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm crying even more. Could find a... Ooh, that's something I'd never... Oh. This rock moves. Is that a thing? Is that... This is the rock you mean? I have to blow it up, probably. Well, if you're talking about the other rocks with the TNT... I never had... I've never found a crawl space under a rock, I don't think. I didn't activate anything, but okay. Yes, the sad onion. I don't... What just... Activated? I didn't hit anything. Sad onion's cool. I like it right now. It's making me cry more. I also like my shots. Shoot more. I shoot faster. <laughs> Not exactly what this guy's doing for me, though. Besides making me sh cry more.
No, 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 the item rock pistol. Just any. Oh, just any random rock. Okay. Well, I figured it might have been something a random random rock, but that one moved, so I was just curious. Ah, I didn't see him shoot me. Fly! Fucking fly. Also, that activated again. Huh. I'm assuming that's my buddy's power here. Behold the shit. I am the great mighty shit. Not a big fan of Conqueror's Bad Fur Day, but the great mighty poo is mighty indeed. See, the soundtrack on this game is amazing because I usually a lot of RPGs and other games I play have a great soundtracks, but they get repetitive after a while. And this this just has a nice ambience to it that it just doesn't get old. Like I usually don't get tired of RPGs like Final Fantasy or Pokemon's battle music, specifically like boss fight music, but repetitive Soundtracks for running in and out of battles constantly kind of just gets annoying after a while. This theme is It's just been playing in the background and to be honest, I haven't really been Paying too much attention to it. I've just been vibing to it. So it's really not uh, a Big issue for me. Otherwise when it comes to like constantly running into battles over and over again in RPGs like I tend to get so tired of the music like, Final Fantasy 2 is one of the worst Final Fantasy games in existence, and its battle theme just s burnt into my head, and it was so annoying after a while. And since you probably don't know, but Final Fantasy 2 has... Most Final Fantasies, they you grind like a normal RPG and you level up. Final Fantasy 2 has a thing where it's... In order to level up and gain stats, you actually have to use... While I do like the mechanic behind this in certain games, you actually have to use... Depending on what you want to level up, you have to use that. So you can make any build in that game, unlike other Final Fantasy games, where if you want to have a... You get characters geared towards certain stats, like melee or magic. You can make any of your team members whatever the hell you want. While I do like that... It gets annoying when you have to grind your magic up in order to make it worthwhile. And you have to use your magic, specifically say fire, a number of times in order to level it up. And then on top of that, the more the lower your MP is, the more chances after battle that your magic's MP your MP will grow, increase. Or if you want more health. You either got to take more damage or beat the shit out of yourself and not heal. It, that is dumb. While I don't mind, say I want to use a sword and level up in a, any specific weapon, say a sword or an axe, I use that weapon more. I like that. I like that in other games that I've played. I forgot what games have that where it's like a proficiency. Borderlands 1, for instance, has a proficiency system where the more you shoot with a certain gun, that gun levels up. I do like that, but with Final Fantasy 2, the way they implemented it, it was just poor. And seeing as I had to grind myself up for the final boss fight, I spent hours just fucking speed farming. Yes, I, spe I, used, I used the speed up function to grind faster, and the music was just so, so annoying after a while. Ugh. And I love RPG music. Final Fantasy has one of the best, like, themes for RPGs. One of my favorites, besides maybe, like, Pokemon. I do like Final Fantasy 2 to an extent. It was a good game, it's just, oh my god, it's... Story was dumb. 
And I don't really care for a lot of that mechanic after a while. Like, one of your main characters you name, and then you don't even get the guy until the end of the game. Yeah, he's, like, the one character you name starts off as the main protagonist. He starts off as the main antagonist for a while, and then you beat him, and then you get him towards the end of the game, and that's it. Fun, and the funny thing is, is I normally name my characters for the Final Fantasy game, characters that don't have outright names for the first, like, three Final Fantasies. And I name myself the main character that I am, which is the warrior. I usually name him after me. I usually name either the white... I think the white mage I named Hype because I like Dragon Ball Z and I watch a lot of TFS. And they named Dende, who was a healer. They called... They, they, they always said, you don't fuck with the white mage. So I named him Hype. And then... Uh... I named my buddy Zero another character, and then I named one of the other characters remaining Chat. So it's kind of like everyone's kind of contributing. And the character I named Zero happened to be the antagonist of the game, Final Fantasy II. And the, and the character I named Zero happened to be the main antagonist. At least until, until the end game when he gets overthrown. Range and luck up. Why does that give me range and luck up for mom's pearls? That should give me negative things. I prefer to wear the underwear. No, I'm kidding. That's that's even more funny. That you could just pick up your mom's underwear. Yeah. Final Fantasy 2, yeah. <laughs> uh, I named a character after my buddy, and he turns out to be the main villain. One of them. I wouldn't say the main villain, but he was for the most portion of the game, until the end, when you actually finally... Get him as a character. Woo! God, this speed up really fucked that boss. No. Jesus, I'm on crack! I don't... Huh. So that doesn't blow up items? Oh. Okay, good. My, um, which is my favorite? 10-2, 10... 10-2, 10, 10, 10, 7, 5, 9. Uh, 6, 3, 4, 1, 2. That's the order in which... Right now, that's my order. I have played a bit of 13 and 12, but not enough to really put them on a list. But my favorites out of them all are 10 and 10-2. Ten because I also really like when RPGs add, like, job systems, like Braverly Default and Final Fantasy 10-2 and 5. Basically, you can you can basically swap around to different classes so like you can in five or in ten two you can change around what job your character is and they level up in that specific retrospect to make them better in that aspect and then once you max them out say five if you max them out you get abilities not even before before maxing them out certain levels will get you uh an ability to be able to switch to a different job class and then take one ability or an ability from that previous job class so you can combine that with another job. So you can take, I think, Ro I think Rogue had the ability to see through walls. Certain areas had walls that you can go through or secrets. Or there was um, the uh, one class enabled you to run in the overworld. If you unlock that, if you level up to a point where you get that, you could swap that out for a different job class and have that run ability. Which is really cool. I like that. And that's what 10-2 has. 10-2 has like a job class system with sphere grids where you change up different, different characters with different jobs. A lot of people don't really like 10-2 just because like it's the story's not particularly the greatest like i actually like the story it's not bad there's also the 100 percent issue where you actually have to watch every cutscene without 
actually skipping it because you can you can skip cutscenes and if you accidentally hit like I think one of the buttons it'll skip the dialogue. You literally gotta watch every cutscene, which while that's not a problem for some people, watching cutscenes for the first time is not an issue. But if you literally skip the cutscene or hit the button to speed up their text in any way, you butcher the hundred percent. So if you if you cared about hundred percenting the entire game for ten two. You may see why that game is hated by a lot of people. I personally enjoy the combat, and I enjoy a lot of the secret bosses in the game. It's one of my favorites for a reason. The music is phenomenal. And I will be showing me 100%ing 10-2, so if, if you're curious about it when I play it, it's a very good game. I like it, at least. A lot of people hate it, but 10 and 10 2 are very good games. And I am actually currently on 10 and 10, uh, currently on Final Fantasy 10. Once I beat through these, I will be resuming my Final Fantasy playthroughs, and 10 is where I left off, or 9 is what I just beat, so 10 is what I'm currently starting. Keep in mind, they are, if you're, if you ever do a full playthrough of that game and then try to go for 100% on 10 and 10 2, including all the super bosses, they are a lot of grinding. They're probably the longest grinding in terms of, like, Final Fantasy has yet, in fact. There's a reason why on my Switch version, I put over 700 hours into Final Fantasy X. Maxing out everyone's stats. What the... Do you think it's a good place to start for... 10? Yes. 10 is a very good place to start for Final Fantasy noobs. Only because a lot of the later Final Fantasies have action time combat, which, if you don't know what any of that means, you know what turn base is. Well, action time combat basically takes turn base and makes it, st it's still turn base to an extent, but time moves. So if you sit there, characters will attack you. It's, it's turn based to where you still have turns in a certain order, but rounds don't wait. You can't just sit here like this and not be attacked. So 10 is back to turn-based, while 10-2 is action-timed. So 10 is a very good place to start if you don't want to be thrown right into a combat where it's not turn-based. Most, mo most people start with 10. In fact, 10 was the first Final Fantasy I've beaten. The first Final Fantasy I ever played was 7. The first Final Fantasy I ever beaten was 10. I don't know, like... Don't know if I like that. I don't know how good this is. Well, I appreciate it. Yeah, 10 is very good. Do you have a, a Switch? If you have a Switch, Final Fantasy 7, 8, 9, 10, and 10, 2, and 12 are all on them. The reason I ask is because you could just relax in, in bed and play it. Otherwise, you would probably be up at a desk or something on your TV. Or I don't know how your setup is, but playing it on the Switch is a very good way to just be able to relax comfortably and play it. Yeah, no, it's very good. Very good. I actually think my taste in games is, is unique. Same with my music. While I'm not the biggest fan of like music all that much, but I, I, uh, I, I think my taste in things are unique. That'd be easier than trying to track down a PS2. Yeah. Yeah, if you have a, if you have a PS4, PC, or Switch, or PS3, it's on all of those instead of getting the PS2 copy, which might run you more money than having to buy the Switch version. Because here's the thing, the the later versions, because it got a rem it got a it got an HD remaster, 10 and 10 2. So if you buy the bundle if you buy it on PS4, Xbox, uh PS4 Switch or whatever, it comes with two games instead of having to buy it on the PS2, which would just be one game. And then it also includes the international release. Which means it gives you a bunch of secret bosses that the original American version didn't have. 
So if you're a kind of guy who likes to be able to fight really tough bosses that are harder than the base game, then that's for you. Damage up, yes! Because the HD remaster of Final Fantasy X and X-2 is the same game, but with a bunch of new added bosses that the original one didn't have. Don't fart. Ooh, golden key. Golden key. Rude chest, rude. Thanks for the coins. Sorry, it's hard for me to talk and play sometimes, so I usually just stop. Especially when I'm going on in a, something that I really like. Like, if I talk about Dragon Ball or Inuyasha or games that I love, it's hard for me to f focus. I mean, I could talk like this and play, but actually going in an in-depth conversation, trying to explain things to make it easier for you guys to understand and give you tips, it's, it's hard for me to focus. No, 99 bombs? I don't mind a challenge. I feel like I gravitate towards the harder games as an adult. Don't know why. The game itself is not particularly tough, but the super bosses, they can be. If you're not high enough, if you don't have a high enough uh, stats, because 10, doesn't, 10 doesn't really have levels. It has, uh, every time you fight enemies, you get certain things called spear grids, which is a thing that you put on a board. And you can move around the character around these boards and place them down and give them specific, like, abilities or stats. So in the end, you can make your character whatever they are. Like, you can turn your mage into a physical brawler if you want, or you can turn your physical brawler into a mage. If you follow a certain path down this grid, you can even move them around to different portions of the grid by teleporting them around. It's, it, it's a way to just basically make any of your characters into whatever the hell you want. <laughs> but in order to actually fully maximize all their stats, you're going to do a lot of end game grinding and a lot of uh, grinding for these grid points or sphere grid levels and these sphere specific nodes because uh, certain nodes or certain sphere grids that you unlock will give you like plus five, I think, towards each stat or whatever. So you're going to go around wanting to do that if you plan to maximize your character out. And the max stats cap at 255. In order to do that, you need to grind a bunch of these item, uh, a bunch of these things for that. I know it's going to be confusing at first to hear, but once you actually get into the game and understand what the end game is and how you do the grinding by looking things up and customize, because you also get armor and you customize your armor with different abilities that make your character either auto attack or you know have auto haste, which is speed up without having to use an item or an ability to do so or stuff like that you customize armor to give you max health or or uh like increase the cap of your health or increase the cap of your damage stuff like that there's 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 ultimate weapons in the game that allow you to do 99,999 damage yeah there's wikis there's facts I suggest once you play through the game for the first time and beat it, then you can focus on trying to do a, you know, complete run where you fight, fight everything. Because then that's when you can be like, okay, I'm going to look up, I'm going to look up how to do this, how to do that. If you ever have any questions, I'm here about the base game. I'll try to help out. But if, 
for the first playthrough, don't focus on too much. I know I'm going into heavy detail on, like, super bosses and how to grind or whatnot. Just focus on the gameplay itself. Don't have to worry about any of that nonsense. And if you're curious about any of that, you'll see me do it when I play the game. Extended stat effect time? It's not like I don't have enough bombs. Double bomb. Jesus Christ, do I need more bombs? Jerk. Jerk off chest. Eat them, my worm. I lost my power boost. That's a shame. Short cutter. Link. Don't pee. Don't urinate. There goes his eyeball. Get blown right up in the bitch. No, not both your eyeballs. However, can you see? Ow. Motherfucker. Fucking... Eyeballs, thank you for that health. Please give me that HP up. <sighs> yeah, cool. Oh, I almost blew that up. Did I went in this. Yes, I didn't think I did actually. Did that create? Oh. 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 Damn, I didn't know that. Well, uh, now, now I do.
Mother... Fuck you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, whoa, 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 bad. That was bad. Oh, thank you. Give me that. I have to figure out what those do. What some of those do. Attack, buddy! Oh my god, I have two of them now. Fair oh, pheromones. Why didn't an un why was it question marked though? I had it before. I don't know what I'm attracting with that, but that's alright. Ugh, this room is terrible. God damn it. God dang it! Try not to fuck me over, will you? I'm stuck in a loop. What? Endless, nameless. What? Oh my god, pay attention to where I'm at. My friends look just like them, and that's so annoying. Bomb. Uh, took my heart. Ow! God damn it, it trapped me. It opened a secret, though. Oh, now I just want to heal up my health. It's like Portal in a way. Gross. Yeah. Gross Portal. That's a game I've never played. But I do know the cake is a lie. Sphincter Portals.
Kill him, my minions. Kill him! Stop giving me keys. I mean, I like it, but I want health. <laughs> Give me more health. Just let me m fill up my health. Not that I really need more health. I would prefer just to have my full health. I always like to be topped off, thanks. I miss my rapid fire. Gertie, 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 Gertie. Paralysis. Just fart. Stop farting. Give me that. Give me that, and that, and what's this? Damage up, yes! Now I have horns! Bye-bye. Do you know about tinted rocks? No. Am I supposed to? Milk! Don't cry over it. Look for rocks that have a small X in the corner and, um, of them. In the corner of them, they give items. Huh. Interesting. Did you see one? Is that why you're saying that, or are you just bringing it up? Thank you for that tip, actually. Oh. Fucking poo. Just remembered it. Nope, all good. I appreciate it. Bone boy. Ah, fucker. Motherfucker. Why am I better at dodging other... Other attacks, but Skeleton Man fucks me. Of course. Oh. Oh, yeah. What happens if I bomb this? Then I blow my way into that room. Somehow. Well, now that I have the bombs to spare at the moment. Let's 
just blow up some bombs. Blow up some rocks, I mean. Nice! Blew up his head. Sorry, worm friend. God, I hate these things. <laughs> yeah! More bombs! Blow it up. Boom! <laughs> ah. Don't know exactly what the purpose of all that rock is, but I blow it up anyway. I know I can get the bomb out of the rock. Hearts. Actually, before we progress up to that way, let's. Oh, all right. <laughs> Headless asshole. Or bodiless asshole, rather. Fatty! I can't move. I... Fucking good lord. Ugh. I didn't even see that. This is so dark there. Oh! I... what? It didn't look like I was anywhere near that. Damn it. Faith up. Hmm. If they're bloody, they shoot lasers. Ah. Makes sense. I just knew there was two type of spiders. I just didn't think I was near him enough to actually get hit. Can you not? Ugh. Mr. Poo Poo. Oh, the poo that turns into a munch more poos. Can you give me something other than keys? Monstro 2? Diarrhea! Oh, alright. Heart. Ah, uh, god dang it. Lost it already.
great pill. Yeah, that's... That was the first time I had that, so I was happy to have it. I forgot to try out my stupid portal poop ability. My portal sector. Okay. I've never made it this far. What the? What the hell? Do these change me to different forms that I was? Or I don't recognize me being any one of those. I recognize having horns at one point. What the fuck? I wasn't under that. What hit me? Was it that thing? Or is it my milk? Because if it's my milk, that's damaging. That's bad. Oh no. The enemies yump now. They yump! Oh, the yumping. Oh, God. God! You had to make them jump. Oh my God. A life. It just shows various cosmetic effects. Oh, okay, that's cool. That's what I thought. I was like, I don't, but I don't, I didn't recognize some of them. Oh, God. Go away, explodey skelly. I've really butchered this round. Oh, this is such a good round. Ooh. I don't like that they just make these enemies jump. Ow. They trapped me. Ghosts. Ah, I ran right into him. Oh, come on, you fucker. I would have after I killed the enemies. Damn it. I ran right into him. But I was actually going to run past him, but then he teleported right into me. Damn it. I was going to bomb the corners. Well, I would have after I beat that area, now that you said it. I wasn't going to probably do it on my own. But I would have. Mm. Don't just make enemies jump. Motherfucker. But restart. <sighs> really? Now I'm just taking unnecessary damage. Oh, but I didn't mean to do that. I want to do a new run. So I've already fucked that up bad. Toxic Blast plus five bombs. Interesting. Really? Am I just gonna sit there and take hits from the weakest enemies in the game? Yep.
Already heavy damaged by one heart. Yay. Oh. Luckily for me, they're weak and happy. Yeah, see, now I really want to play Final Fantasy X now, but I don't want to start that without beating some of this first. I mean, I easily could, but then I'd be on that for a while, and I, because I want to focus Final Fantasy down. Otherwise, playing it one every every two or three streams is not good. I need to stay on it. Then I forget what I was doing. I could have moved, but I didn't expect it to blow up all the way around. Mm. Wow, I'm, I'm in the first area and I'm doing very bad. I lost my composure. Completely. And that was such a good round. And I started taking all that unnecessary damage from enemies that were jumping. I probably wouldn't have been able to beat the boss, but you never know. I would have liked to see it. Oops. <laughs> Let's fart on it. Try watching playthroughs of this game, it just never seemed all that entertaining. But now I'll try watching more now that the game is actually fun. Like, it didn't look boring to me, it's just watching it didn't seem very fun. But that's just me. Can we stop doing Ring Around the Homo? Ring around the hole. Ow. My mommy! Mommy! Oh, ultimate grand supreme! Oh, I am the king! Arcade? Oh, right, I've been in here before. Is that a Meat Boy reference? <laughs> That's what roguelikes are for. Not all the, not every run's the same. Hell, I die, like, when I play uh, Rogue Legacy, I I barely get far enough. Or Dead Cells. I get like maybe one or two bosses in Dead Cells before dying fully. 
But in Rogue Legacy, I barely... It takes me for... It takes me several runs and multiple, like, upgrades before I even get to one boss. And I've only beaten one boss in that game. Which is... May sound bad, but that game is harder than it... Than it appears. At least for me, anyway. Don't taunt me. I may not be particularly the best at games, but I still love them. Can we not? Can we not? Quit lusting after me, lust! Poison touch! I am the plague! Not my cup of tea, to be honest. I haven't tried Rogue Legacy. How is that? Enter the Gungeon is Rogue Legacy. I've tried. Rogue Legacy is very good. It's like, it's like a roguelike action game, I guess, the best way to describe it. Again, you go, hey, Supply, how you doing? You go through randomized dungeons, try to get chests and gear, and you can equip different armor pieces, weapons, and certain runes that give you certain abilities, like vampirism that give you more health every time you hit an enemy, or double jump dashes, or you get, like, abilities that you can throw, like, you can throw, like, weapons... Like, you get these magic abilities that allow you to throw, like, ranged weapons, like knives or whatever at enemies. Some some chests want you to cha uh, try to challenge you to get them, like, dash, like, get through an area without jumping, or get through an area without taking a hit, or kill all the enemies. And, and as you save up currency, you can rank up your skill tree, or castle tree. It's like a castle that you build, and you unlock different tiers or different things like damage increase more money certain unlock more classes that you can choose because you're you kind of like choose a character in the beginning and depending on the character's traits the character has traits like one character will be like giant and it'll take he'll tank he'll take more damage or there's characters who will have like a glass cannon build who who will have no health but it will hit very heavy or characters that do more crit damage It's cool. How you doing, Supply? Oh no! I kind of just went in gung ho shooting that TNT. We meet again, Monstro. In a room that's small. Great. Ow. Stop spewing. Yeah, I prefer you yumping at me. That's also on the Switch and PS4 or whatever your console of choice is. I've never played Gungeon, though. I've never played that. I'm doing alright. Just trying to murder things, and I am now about to wear my mom's underwear. Gross. Whee! I'm a pretty princess with crown and underwear in hand. And also, I have the plague. Key, though. Oh, that one's different. Oh, 
my god. <laughs> Ah, take that. Motherfucker. Mm. All the keys. Just enjoying some Binding of Isaac. Okay. Depression! Oh. <laughs> this sums up my life right now. <laughs> I actually do suffer from some mild depression, but that's okay. out of here Jesus there's really no good way to avoid all that when you're cornered like that Motherfuckers. Gertie! Hello, Gertie. How are you? Can we please kill that? Oh, come on. Because I'm more focusing on your fly buddies than you. flies they made that fight much worse than it is it's bullet hell I think it's a little more difficult than I think and I'm not a really a big fan of bullet hells I could try it though one one of these days that fight was not even hard it's just the flies there did not make that any better that just added more unnecessary bullshit 
I played a bullet. I played probably a, a few bullet hells, but I did do one for stream, and it was fun, but I'm just not good at bullet hells. Intensifying tears? What do I cry more? Stop that. What's the point of abilities that don't seem to do anything? Snake Larry. Allergic to bombs, are we? Gross. Stuff. I'm walking around with a box on me. <laughs> and I have a fork? <laughs> Stuff. What is this? Destruction brings creation. Alright, Beerus. The tower. Uh-oh. Huh. That would have been useful for a boss. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Woo! That actually would have been very useful for a boss, but that's okay. I got another heart. Pride! Hey, hey! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, no! Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, no, 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 no! I don't think Pride does this in Full Metal. Oh, God. No 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 Hey! Really shouldn't make me... I shouldn't really trap myself. Quite rude. Oh, it's a yellow boy. Ah, he's fast! Motherfucker, caught me off guard. I kind of like... Walked around a weird way. And that's how I got hit by him. Oh, it's a Cyclops. Oh. Oh, that one's leaving a trail of blood. Hey, man. Stop ruining good runs, my friend. Decent runs, I would say. The last one was... The last run I did was the best run thus far. It's gonna probably be a while before I can get a, a run of that caliber. Let's go open that dual door chest, though. Or dual door room oh oh i'm 
I am oily devil now. Yeah. I'm shiny man. Shiny devil man. Woo! Thank you. That room then. Ah, oh, poop. I just noticed that this, damn it, I wasn't paying attention to my map. Poop! Thank you. Monstro, oh god. <laughs> Almost ran right into him. Memories! Oh, now I'm a baby! <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> it's adorable. And the memories should infinitely make me cry more. Because my mom wanted to sacrifice me for reasons. And everyone makes fun of me by giving me poop for presents and pulling down my pants and... Revealing that I wear my mom's underwear. This kid has issues, and I understand it. Like, he's tortured severely, and then tries to get murdered by his own mother. To the point where he goes into a secret basement in his room. Hmm. Temporary flight. I think that's the opposite of what I am right now. Oh. Flight would definitely get me that. become drunk oh god where did more come from Key. Mm, poo poo. But there's key right there that I can't get because I used flight on coins. Wait, I have flight. I recharged. Oh, it's not full.
You took away my my other heart, you jerk. I don't like where you're sitting. You're annoying as hell. for my bomb usage. Still not enough for a full flight, huh? gonna fucking moonwalk and cry. I do like the ability where you pee, or whatever, the AoE of piss that you leave. I've had that ability before. Nicely done. Bread! Midnight snack! That was really nicely done. That should be a trophy. Beat a boss without a stand, without scratch. Or at least beat specific bosses. Maybe not all of them, but specific bosses. Or a boss without taking a hit. Come on. Thank you, Bolt. So what's everybody doing besides watching me cry on everybody? Shed the tears of pain, misery. Such as the life of a baby devil. A baby oily devil. He just looks so cute and innocent. You shoot four way. Hello? Look, motherfucker. Get fucked. Damn it. Lost all my health, extra health there, too. God damn it. You forget. Boom. Fuck 
fucking spiders. Oh, thank you. Oh my, that's a lot of doors. It's a lot of spiders. Go away, go away. I'd rather deal with the slugs. Oh, lovely. Nice. Oh, I love these enemies. What just hit me? I didn't think I walked into that. Cry more. <laughs> Go ahead, just stay there then. friends. You remind me of the weird bat boss from Castle Crashers. A hangman brings you no luck today. Thanks. Meet strangers without prejudice. Excuse me? Well, that was worth it. <laughs> always nice. I see. What do you give me? What you give? What you give? Besides just being a dick. You're begging in the wrong place. Did your mom try to kill you too, friend? Death those fire Death the fire. I don't know what the swap thing is. I'll take that. Is there any other places I haven't fully explored? Everything looks fully explored. Did I get that secret? 
I did. Okay. That is a big map. Oh. I was like, oh. Mega fatty! Oh, okay. Rude. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, poop. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Don't fart, little shits. You were, uh, easy. Mushroom. Yes. HP up, tears up. Yes. Someone called you? How are you doing? I'm doing all right. We just beat Mega Fatty. <laughs> I was wondering why no one was talking. It's all good. We just beat Mega Fatty, which is a new boss for me. Yeah. Doing all right. We're uh, Baby Devil. We just got some stat boosts. Got increased HP. Increase speed rate, uh, fire rate. And now we all, we also have a little, my, my little death buddy is back. And we're about to go down to the next floor. The depths. Oh, sworn friend. <gasps> I have an angel buddy. I have the angel of God and death. Yay. Oh. Oh no. Well, it took out one of them. At least it didn't hit me. Should have guessed the red chest is bad. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Nice. Motherfucker! Good thing you don't blow up shit. Give me that. Give me that. I want... I want that black heart back, you fucker. Oh god, I haven't seen these varieties of these things before. I really don't like these enemies. They're not hard, they're just annoying. It says that and I almost got hit by it. It really helps when they're slowed, though. Oh. Skelly boys! Plop! No, don't stretch your neck at me. Plop. Ooh, a tarot card. May your future become balanced. Justice! Ooh. Fuck, there goes that heart. Uh, 
Uh, a boss. A boss that's not a boss. Thank you. Don't suck all of them near me, thanks. I quite don't like that. That's a lot of hearts. What the hell? Human centipede? Ah, uh, no key. I'm not getting any keys. I'm getting all the health, though, which is nice, I guess. I can go heal up after a boss fight if I win it. I am lucky I didn't take damage there. Skins like rotting or whatever, so they become skelly after you kill them. Well, all right, goodbye. Some later floors have mini bosses like greed or the ones that keep spawning bombs. Ah, well, I expect the seven deadly sin mini bosses, but I didn't know that bosses can have a mini boss variety. Well, that one I don't count as a boss because he didn't really have a health bar. Unlike the di unlike the seven sins, where they actually have like a health bar. Those I count as a mini boss. I can see that. But I'm used to those at this point. But I just wasn't expecting a, n a boss to have a normal enemy. Then again, a lot of games tend to do that. Take a boss that you previously fought and make it a normal enemy. Dark Souls is common for that. Ninja Gaiden, the later Ninja Gaiden reboots do the same thing to an extent. I don't have a key, dude. Nudge. Ow. All the skellies. Yes! Kapok! Monstro 2. Ow. Dick. Ah. Damn it. I can't see where I'm at. Damn it, I shot the bomb too far. Fuck. I'm bad at timing that, and I keep hitting it by accident. Yes. 
hit him at least with one bomb. Whoa! That was close. At least it's... At least it's just you. I, I know you. <laughs> and slowing you down is very good. I actually really am loving that ability. Okay, get out of here. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme, what's this? Oh, damage up and range up. Yes. Let's go and heal. I didn't use my ability, but that's okay. I tend not to. Sometimes I forget that I have them to an extent. Give me that. <laughs> but yeah, no, I tend to forget that I have them sometimes. All right, at least I can scratch at the final. I'm getting a little better, getting back to the final dungeon, second time in a row, or second time, not in a row, but second time now. Magdalene unlocked the tank and cursed. I kind of just accidentally skipped that. Oh. Oh wait, I don't think I skipped it at all. I think my controller decided to somehow skip that entire thing. Oops. Because I didn't hit anything when that popped up. That's alright. Well, I didn't know if the little pictures were anything. I would have liked to see that, but that's cool. Cool. Oh, no. Well, here's a mini boss. Monstro. Yay. Two of them. Ow. Murder. Fucker. Bad enough watching two of you. At least it's just you. One dead. All right. Okay, so that might have just been a look-alike, but here's the actual mini-boss of the bosses. So, you, cool. He did a lot more damage to me than I wanted, because it was hard to watch two of them at once in a small room. Thanks, friend. <gasps> Finally, a key. A key? Oh. Y How many friends do I fucking need? Oh. Oh, okay. Oh my god, how did I get through that without taking damage? Or at least that part there. Holy shit. Jesus Christ. All the explosions. Can I get my health back? Be very beneficial, thank you very much. <gasps> oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Smooth. Trying. Doing my best. I just need my health. And I'm near a boss. Interesting. Key! What is this? More trinket room. And give me that. I don't know what that means exactly, but alright. Skelly boy! Skellies! Ow! Jerk! Ooh. 
Thank you. You. Ooh, arcade. Oh, yes, murder. Ooh, no, never again. Okay. Ooh, blue fire. Oh, oh. Bed. Z z has appeared in the basement. Okay. I don't know if giving you the key is worth it, bud. I... Okay. Ah, I want to attack that poop, but I want one more key for that. Oh, bats. Bat zoo. No. He's a good item, then. I might have been... Oh, cool. Neat. Thank you. Keep that in mind. Oh, thank you. Oh, black skellies. Whoa, black skelly, by my lamb. Kill it! All right. Okay. You gotta, you gotta go. Y'all gotta go. Oh, Jesus. May your power bring range? What is this? Piercing shots. Consume thy enemy. I don't... I'm just gonna go for no. I'll keep no. Wait. And piercing shots. I like the idea of piercing shots. I don't know if that other thing is good. But I'll keep that in no. Fat bat. I am fat bat. Fat bat. I don't want to go through that. And take too much damage. Because that's two hits on the way in, way in and way out. Well, there is a heart uh, down here. Oh, there's a bomb. An extra bomb. What else did I miss in this room? Nothing. I'll take that. I'll take that bomb. Keep keeps activated items from the item pool. Is that good? I don't know what that means necessarily. Keeps the activated items from the item pool. What do you mean by keep? How do I, do I lose items or something? So items that use that energy bar in the top left won't spawn. Oh, is that bad or good? <laughs> I mean, some of those abilities can be good, right? Like flight is all right, but I haven't really need much needed it much. Uh, there's a few times where I used it, but I haven't really needed it much. All the golden poop. Well, either way. 
Like, yeah, I'll never figure out what those abilities do without looking it up. So that's interesting. Mom, I figured. It's just her foot. Yeah, I figured it was the mom. Jesus. Okay. Passive items often give you better things like damage, speed, health increase. Ah, uh, okay. I have to keep that in mind when I find more of those. But yeah. Because I've been liking some of the abilities that I get, even though I don't oftenly use them. Oh, that was... An easy final boss. <laughs> I did not notice what was going on half the time. <laughs> but I definitely had a better RNG, apparently, placement. Because I didn't get nowhere near the annoying enemies that first attempt that I got down this final dungeon. Those jumping enemies were fucking me up. And damn, did I get just unlock a shit ton of trophies. I don't understand that ending. I've unlocked the womb. Challenge number 20, purist. 21, whatever that is. Unlock 22, speed. Challenge 25, have a heart. 28, pride day. Ah! 29, 30, the guardian. April's fool. The hairbringers. Cube of meat appeared in the basement. I never did find that cross, so unless that's just now unlocked. Mods. Press tab to enable mods. I don't know what button tab is for me on my controller. Well, alright. I just pressed tabs and nothing happened. 55 pennies. We got Magdalene. Unlock by beating whatever. Unlock by beating greed with Azrael. Az Az Azel. Lazarus. Unlocked by making three deals with the devil in one game. Unlocked by beating two levels without taking damage. Unlocked by picking up, not picking up parts of two levels. Judas. Unlocked by holding 65 pennies. Well, you got a lot of health there, Magdalene. Oh. Oh. Hard mode and greed. So is that actually completed, or is there more to it besides just further runs? 
Because I want to I want to know if that counts as actually completing this the game for my request. Or is the afterbirth a different thing? I thought it was like DLC or something. Because I don't know anything about this game. Some activate arms like the Bible are great though. It instantly killed mom. Yeah, I bet. That death, that death little guy on me did a lot of damage when he popped off. Holy shit. Because the person never specified. They just said, play the Binding of Isaac. They didn't really specify any specifics. One person requested me to play uh, one of the bullet hells I played. He wanted me to beat the game on the easiest difficulty and the hardest difficulty. And unfortunately, while I came close to beating it on the hardest difficulty, I never did. Some items, enemies, bosses, and areas. Oh, okay. Well, the areas would count enough towards it. Because I don't know if he means, like, the actual DLC or what. Because... It, he did specify with Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. While the game is called that, I saw when I bought it that Afterbirth is part of the D a DLC. So I'm assuming he would want that, even though I don't know if he's... I don't know if that person joins anymore, because when he requested a couple of... The, when people have been requesting a couple of these games, I've been doing these on and off for probably close to a year. Because I... Again, I do other things on top of my requests, so these have been going on for a while. Because people have requested these as far back as when I was still doing Final Fantasy. Early Final Fantasy. Probably around like 5. And I've beaten at least 4, 3 or 4 Final Fantasy since then. On top of doing Dark Souls and my my spoopy October games like Dead Rising and all that. Silent Hill, Resident Evil and all those. They've definitely been a good year or two. Well, I can knock that off the list and always come back to it. Yeah, I'm not sure what they mean to beat the game. I wouldn't know either. So, until further notice, I'm counting that as beat. I will do more of this. This game's fun. I like it a lot. But I'm going to count that as beaten. Oh boy, what time is it? 10.41, not bad. It took me th almost four hours. It's actually not bad, I got a very good RNG run that last round. I was not, I was expecting me to die when I was going to searching through those other rooms. I was like, all right, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna kill the boss yet. I wanna search in case I need something or I find something amazing. And the mom turned out to be an easy fight. <clears throat> but that was only the easiest modes or easier mode, so we could always try it on the harder difficulty. Oh, I don't have him unlocked. Hmm. It was solid. Yes, it was. I'm gonna try Lazarus on hard mode. <laughs> See how long I last on hard mode with Lazarus. Da -da -da. Transcendent Tears. Oh. 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 Ho -ho -ho. I like that. I like that a lot. Woo go away. I can shoot over rocks, you're right. Bomb. Bum ba da 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 Boop. Boof. Damn it! <laughs> Oh, 
I don't know how useful that ability is going to be unless I'm like right up on the opponent, but even then, why would I do that when I could just attack him straight on? But who knows? Again, hitting over rocks, though, is its plus. While I can hide, they cannot, to an extent. Damn it. I might as well just save up the 55 coins thing and just unlock that character. Well, of course I get myself fucked. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. Ooh. Yay! <laughs> now I have a cat and now I have a an astrology sign. I tear infinitely. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. I thought I mute. I thought I brought that down. Sloth now, eh? See what life has to offer. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Okay, I hit the wrong button. Oops. Oops. Just wasted that. Did not feel like it would be a very good ability. Famine! Okay, you go through walls. Wow. <laughs> Thanks. Actually, that was very nice of you. Phase two. Oh. Whew. The Book of Revelations has appeared in the basement. Gotta lick them all. Ball of bandages? What is this, Pokemon? Gotta lick them all. Pokemon? Oh, it's longer. 
Man, everyone and their mother is killing their innocent children, or wants to. Now I gotta look up Binding of Isaac lore. <laughs> Think. Ooh, coins. Coins, I do. I like that there's new bosses in the harder mode. Unless they're all the same and it's just, again, RNG. Because there's definitely a few bosses I haven't seen when I first was, when I, uh, my first stream of this. So I definitely encountered a slew of a few new bosses on top of the later game area bosses, which is nice. Can you not? Can you not? Oh, don't swallow it. Yay, cancer! I don't... I'm gonna stick with cancer. It's funny, there's not much mention of Isaac's dad or what enemy represents him in the dungeons. Oh, so he is an enemy? Possibly. I just like that the, f the scene was like, God wanted you to strike down your son and God says no or whatever. It's just like rejected. And then she's there with their knife like I, I don't get it was she like failed trying to kill him and then was just saying that she's out doing it again I have bad at explaining as long as he lives she'll be there to kill him I mean, it's not like he's going to kill his own mother. That's kind of where that comes into usefulness. Oh no. Got myself trapped. Ah, poop. Monstro. We beat again, Monstro. This time you're tougher. Oh, oh. Well, that's useless. Damn it. He had to have all these enemies there and it really fucking fucked me. Caught me off guard. And I, I got surrounded. Ended up using my ability there. Tears up. Surprised since mom is an enemy. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised either. Oh, 
Oh, Jesus. There's a total of 20 endings with the DLC included. Jesus. I don't know if I'll be playing that much, but I'll be playing it a bit. I'll probably do a handful of streams. Just to give the request a good thoroughness, the person who requested some good good footage if he wants to watch. Hood Rich Hobo, if you ever join in, hello, I love you. Thank you. Haven't seen him in a while, but... It's definitely been a while since I've seen him, but I'm sure he hasn't forgotten. I mean, he did follow me with like 50 accounts. <laughs> Not really, but like he did. He may he had like two or three accounts that he was abusing. He was abusing that with my chat currency system on multiple accounts. Because I have that. You know, currency like streamers do. They have a thing where you, if you watch enough, you get you build up a chat currency, and you can use that for things. And that's how you redeem your for your game requests. So if you type in uh, in chat, if you want to see your how long you've watched for your your rank, as well as how much money you have, if you type in exclamation point Masetta. It'll tell you how many hours you've watched, how much points you have, and what your rank is. The ranks are based off Dragon Ball Z. The money name, Masetta, is from a game called PSO, or Fantasy Star Online. Hey, there you go. Yeah, the name of the money is based off a currency from Fantasy Star Online. And the ranks are all Dragon Ball Z related. And it's collective. So even in accounts, even if you watch me while I'm not streaming, so if you take time to watch my videos while I'm not even li uh, live, it counts towards that as well. You know, you know Twitch, right? I don't know if you know too much about the the currency system or if you're new to Twitch at all or not, but if you you can either scroll your mouse onto the screen near where my face is, you should see a red box pop up. You'll see a red box icon pop up on screen. If you click that, you'll have a list of options. Or there's the one that is below the chat room. If you uh, look below the chat box, you'll see an, uh, a money icon or a little diamond icon. If you click that and scroll down to where it says video game, you can request that as well via that way. But it, right now it's closed. And I plan on actually hiring that it's at 3,000 the points is at 3,000 for active viewers it's not a lot so I was planning to hire it a little bit because I was getting loaded with game requests freezer race you'll take it haha <laughs> yeah but right now it's closed because I was swamped with requests. Oh, wait. Reaper asked me to make a Pikachu emote. Well, I can, I can request that later time. But that's really... I need to buy... I need to pay for someone to do that. Unless he wants to draw me one. <laughs> updated, so I gotta figure out where that is at this point. Definitely different.
I wouldn't know where this is anymore. It's now through my box that they updated it. Yeah, I'm coming from with Twitch. I've had an account for about a year, used it in 2020. Ah, okay. Yeah, there's uh, two ways of accessing the redemption icon. You can click the little icon below the text box on the bottom of the screen. It looks like a little diamond icon. And it, if you scroll over, it'll say Masada. You click that, and you'll see a bunch of options. If you scroll down to the very bottom, it'll say Video Game Request. Or if you scroll your mouse onto the screen, you'll see a red box pop up, and you can click that, and then there should be an option to redeem through that. tab on this extension if we can grant us access did do it at one point now it's i don't know if it does it anymore at least for me it doesn't pop up it's asking me to access grant access and i thought i did but no it's not unless there's something i gotta do on my end but at least the icon below the chat allows you to video game request The reward is temporarily out of stock. Yeah, I gotta figure out how to find that again and reopen it. They changed up a lot with stream, uh, Streamlabs since I last did this. They don't. I don't know where the loyalty rewards thing is anymore. I want to be able to continue doing game requests, but if it doesn't work, then fuck.
Speed down Rage's building. But what the fuck, dude? Why am I so bad at dodging the skeleton bones? I wouldn't either. Uh, I barely knew Streamlabs and Twitch to begin with. I'm still not very great with with a lot of things. Twitch pestilence, like. I barely know half the things on Twitch. Like, I just stream. What just happened? I'm dead. Makes you larger? Oh, well, that's nice to know. Well, that guy wasn't too bad. I just had no health. Well, I'm going to get off for the night, guys. It's 11 o'clock. I'm going to try to figure out where I can turn the game requests back on so I can do that in the future. Oh, it was fun. Let's see. Join me tomorrow for possibly more Super Ninja Boys or maybe some more God of War so we can try to focus these stupid game requests down. God of War is going to be a long one because it goes all the way up to the new God of War. Dad of Boy as well as the new Ragnarok. That's going to be coming out or whatever. But we're going to get off for the night. I'll figure out my loyalty. Maybe it's not part of Stream Element, Stream Labs. Maybe it's something else. Enjoy some Final Fantasy VII, a more popular streamer who does challenge runs or speed runs. Final Fantasy is doing some Final Fantasy VII. He doesn't really need the raid as he's fucking insanely popular with over 100k people. Uh, not 100k, but he has he has 2k follower or viewers on average. This guy doesn't need anymore, but he's an awesome streamer. So enjoy some collab heart playing Final Fantasy. You can at least, you can kind of get a look at what Final Fantasy VII has to offer, even though he speed runs it, but you can at least get an idea of what that game has to offer. And that's probably another accessible game to to play for your first time, but Ten's definitely the good one to pick. Thank you guys for watching.